Okay, today we're going to be making one of the most velvety soft funfetti cakes that I've ever had. It is so moist, has the most tender crumb, and is the perfect celebration cake. So to start off, you want to preheat your oven to 180C or 350F and grease and line two 8-inch cake tins. As always, I'm using my homemade cake release to grease my tins, and then I'm also lining the bottoms with some parchment paper. The sprinkles in funfetti cakes do tend to sometimes stick to the cake pans, and so that's why I like to line the bottoms. Okay now you just want to set your cake tins aside for now and next we're going to sift together our dry ingredients. So I've got 300 grams or two and a third cups of plain all-purpose flour, 25 grams or a quarter cup of cornstarch, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. And then using a whisk, you just wanna mix that all together until it's well combined. As most of you already know, I use a combination of cornstarch and flour as a cake flour substitute. So you can just use cake flour as a replacement for those two ingredients instead if you prefer. Okay, now you just wanna set your dry ingredients aside for now. And next in a small bowl, combine 240 grams or one cup of room temperature milk and one teaspoon of white vinegar. Vinegar is great for getting that velvety texture in cakes. So you just wanna give that a mix and then set it aside for now. Next, we're going to separate the whites and yolks from six large room temperature eggs. So I just like to use my hands to do this. I find that I'm less likely to crack the yolks that way. Now, once you're done, we're only going to be using the whites for this recipe, but don't chuck the egg yolks away. Just pop them into an airtight container and put them in the fridge and you can use them for something else. Okay, now once that's done, you just wanna set your egg whites aside for now. And next in a large bowl, combine 113 grams or half a cup of room temperature unsalted butter, 110 grams or half a cup of unflavored vegetable oil, I use canola oil, and 333 grams or one and two third cups of white granulated sugar. And then using a hand or stand mixer on a medium high speed, cream that together for three minutes until it's light and fluffy. If you do use a stand mixer to do this, then you want to use the paddle attachment. Now next you want to add in your egg whites in four batches. Now you can just kind of eyeball this, it doesn't have to be exact, but you do just want to make sure that each batch is mixed in well before adding in the next. So about 10 to 15 seconds in between each batch. You also want to do this step with your mixer on a low speed. Next, you want to add in one and a quarter tablespoons of vanilla extract or essence, as well as half of the milk vinegar mixer from earlier. And then just mix that in on a low speed until it's well combined. Now at this point, you just want to get all of the batter off of your attachments because we're going to be doing the rest of the mixing by hand. So next, you want to add in half of your pre-mixed dry ingredients from earlier and fold that in with a spatula until it's just combined. Then you want to add in the remaining milk vinegar mixture and fold that in until it's just combined. And then add in the remaining dry ingredients and fold until just combined. You don't want to overmix the batter, so only fold until there aren't any big lumps or streaks of flour running through the batter. Now the last step is to add in 60 grams or half a cup of rainbow sprinkles and then you just want to fold that in until it's just combined. Now the type of sprinkles that you use is important and the long thin type is best as the little round ones which are also called hundreds and thousands here in New Zealand are known to bleed their colours into the batter and they're also harder in texture so you just get a nice smoother bite when you use the long rainbow sprinkles. Okay, so that is our batter all done. It looks so cool with all those rainbow sprinkles in there. And now you just want to evenly distribute it into our two pre-prepared cake tins. Once that's done, give your cake tins a light bang on the counter to remove any large air bubbles. And now these are going to go into the oven for 30 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean or with a few moist crumbs on it. So my cakes are out of the oven now. They've been cooling in the cake tins for about 20 minutes. And now I'm just running a thin knife around the edges to release the cakes from the cake tins and turning them out onto a wire rack to completely cool. These cake layers are honestly so, so incredibly soft. You guys are gonna absolutely love them. Now while these cakes are cooling, we're gonna go ahead and make a super easy, silky smooth vanilla buttercream. So all you have to do is to a stand mixer, or you can use a hand mixer too, add in 340 grams or one and a half cups of room temperature unsalted butter, 375 grams or three cups of powdered sugar, also known as icing or confectioner sugar, 
two teaspoons of vanilla extract or essence, and 120 grams or half a cup of room temperature whipping cream. Heavy cream will work too. And then you just want to use the paddle attachment and mix that on a low speed until everything is well combined. Once it's combined, give your bowl a scrape down and then turn your mixer up to a medium high speed and whip for a full 10 minutes, scraping down the bowl halfway through just to make sure everything's mixing well. If your buttercream is kind of curdling or it's not becoming kind of light and fluffy, then that means that one or more of your ingredients are too cold. So simply just warm it up a little bit in the microwave or over a double boiler and then just keep whipping and it should become nice and smooth. And then that is it. You have a wonderfully light and not too sweet American style buttercream. So my cake layers are all cooled down now so we can start stacking this cake. So usually I would trim off the tops of my cake layers to make sure that they're nice and flat, but these cake layers bake up really flat and so I'm going to skip that step. So I'm starting off by placing my first cake layer straight onto my cake stand and topping it with a generous amount of frosting and then smoothing that out with my offset spatula. Then my second cake layer goes on top of that and again I'm just placing some buttercream on the top and then smoothing it out with my offset spatula. Once that's done, I'm also covering the sides with buttercream and then smoothing it out with my cake scraper. Now to get some nice sharp edges on my cake, I'm just bringing that top lip of frosting into the middle of the cake with my offset spatula. Now with my remaining buttercream, I'm just popping it into a piping bag with a 1M piping tip on it. And then I'm just piping little swirls on the top of my cake. And then to finish off, I'm just sprinkling some of the rainbow sprinkles on the top of my little swirls. And then I'm also just kind of gently sticking some onto the sides of my cake. And then that is it. My Funfetti cake is all done. This cake is honestly so, so velvety and moist. It has great vanilla flavor and those sprinkles on the insides of the cake layers just make this like one of the prettiest cakes to look at. The cake layers are just so, so incredibly soft and fluffy, and I love that the buttercream isn't too sweet. It's so good. I would go so far as to say that this even beats my vanilla cake recipe, which is my most popular recipe on my blog. So, you know, if you're into vanilla cake and you like sprinkles, then you absolutely have to try this cake. So that is it for today, guys. If you do decide to give this, you know, Funfetti cake a go, then please do leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content out, and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.